higher up closest to Lear's realm is Tir Magmur, home of the divine high Aosis. Underneath it, there is Le Grand. When during its first age more than a thousand years ago, the land was inherited by its three native races. Humans, the ancient lions of the east, and the four great dragons of the north. The eastern land of Le Grand, Targon continent, was a peaceful place. Unlike the northern Albion, where the dragons and humans are always fighting each other. In the deeper territory of the universe, there is Dune Aiden, home of the vile beings the Lear detests, the Fear Bogs. Due to its destructive nature, the Fear Bogs brought destruction to their own land, leaving the Dune Aiden shattered to pieces. As soon as they realized they needed another land to occupy, Fear Bogs has been trying to find a way to ascend to Le Grand, the closest realm. Knowing this, Lear sent down Aosis to help the Grand's inhabitants defending their own land from the accursed Fear Bogs. Numerous Aosis and four apostles, mothers of the heroes, landed in Sersai to inherit the Western Le Grand, Old Murius to be precise, and built garrison there. During the first years of Fear Bogs' arrival, all the natives hardly put any fight against them causing the incomers to occupy the land almost entirely and easily. The heroes also given a hard time fighting against the Virbogs, which invasion coming from all directions. Most of Old Murius crumbled, but the heroes still striving to defend our homeland. Fortunately, Dralvanir, one of the great dragons of the north, came to help and successfully repelled the invasion, although he was gravely wounded and dying. The help of Dralvanir did not come without hoping something in return. Dralvanir conveyed his wish for the heroes to save the last surviving dragonkin, to which the heroes agreed. Dralvanir's help brought heroes to come to realization about how to protect the ground entirely, to strengthen the resistance against the fear bulgs. Knowing that they were unconsciously leaving the other parts of Legrand unguarded, they knew they shall expand occupied areas and built quarters over them. Therefore, three of the heroes ventured to north, south, and east side of Le Grand, while one of them stayed in Urius. The strategy proven could turn the tide of war effectively. Territories occupied by the Fearbolg has been decreasing significantly. Even though it was still not enough to cast away the Fearbolgs completely, the heroes needed to help the natives whom groaned thin in number day after day and also build stronger resistance at the same time. Therefore, they decided to invite the natives to take part in fighting for the land. They share their own powers to the natives by mating. Luch, hero of the West, stayed here, mating with fellow Aosis. Luanda, heroes of the East, was mating with the Great Lion and gave birth to Aramans. Dagda, hero of the South, was mating with a human of muted society in Phineas, which was also a witch doctor, and gave birth to the Norns. Linus, heroes of the North, had the biggest responsibility, for he must also fulfill his promise to Dralvanir. He was mating with both human and the last dragon of the North. The offspring from human was ones who called the first men, and the offspring from the dragon was the shapeshifters called the Dringers. The heroes taught all of them own descendants to unite and stand strong for them own land. With such immense power, the heroes and Le Grand's people could eventually put up a fight against the Fear Bogs, and the amount of Fear Bogs left in Le Grand decreased significantly. However, the heroes were also badly wounded. Despite the wound, the four heroes were still trying to complete their own duty to finish the Great War. In order to protect Legrand's future, they all sacrificed their own life to send the Firobogs back to their own shattered realm. With their own last effort, the heroes pushed the Firobogs back to Dunaiden, closed and sealed the breach to prevent the Firobog from coming back. After the heroes passed away, the children of heroes brought the armaments back to their own home. 
planted them in the cardinal trees to be the pillars of equilibrium. <laughs>